So yeah, well, let's go ahead and get started. So welcome everyone to Midweek Mindfulness. It's great to, to see some faces and, um, and to know that folks are here who uh, very often join us, but it looks like there are some new folks as well. So what a, what a pleasure and a joy. Um, and it's, it really is a privilege and, and an honor to be able to spend time with alums. You know, I don't always get that opportunity to, uh, to get to know the people who in so many ways, like created this space long before I even arrived. I've only been here 10 years. So it, it really is a pleasure and a joy to spend some, this time with you today. And so um, you have come, most likely I'm guessing, to get a moment of relaxation in the big alumni weekend that's going on. So um, I thought we might do that today. I thought that might be a, a really nice way to settle into our, our midweek mindfulness um, and maybe holding in in our thoughts or in our hearts or in our awareness, probably even more effectively our awareness, um, kind of all the feelings surrounding what's going on right now. You know, there's so many things going on in the world and yet there's this wonderful and, and kind of amazing opportunity to celebrate uh, and that's, that's a really big thing. You know, it's been a very, very challenging year and a half or two years. And to take a little bit of time to celebrate and to really connect with each other and, and allow some, <sighs> an opportunity to rest and to grow and to connect and to have some joy and not have to think about and worry about some of the other things that are going on is a wonderful opportunity, as well as an opportunity, of course, to provide support for those who are, are just joining the Spider family. So I'm really excited to meet all the new folks that are gonna be coming in this fall. It looks like we got a great incoming class and I'm really delighted to, to meet them and spend time with them as well and, and hopefully continue to connect them with you and allow you to connect with them. So, um, yeah, I'm just really touched. Uh, so, but why don't we, because there may be some new people in the crowd today. So let me just quickly introduce what we do in week mindfulness. So uh, mindfulness is a state of present moment awareness that happens with the practice of non-judgment. So it means we're really connecting with what's going on inside of us as well as what's going on outside of us and not judging any of those things. So the foundational practice is paying attention to the breath. So we sit in a comfortable position. For some of us that are able differently, it might be reclining, like whatever is most comfortable for you so that you can be physically relaxed and mentally alert. And then we're gonna really focus on our breath and we're gonna notice our breath and we're gonna notice our body and the interaction between the two. And when thoughts come up, as they always will. <laughs> That's perfectly normal. We're going to, we're just going to take a note of what they are to, to give them the importance that they are due. And then we're just going to let them kind of drift away and come back to our breath and come back to our body and just do a little practice of relaxing the body and really allowing the mind to relax as well. Um, and if that's not your experience of it, because you've got a super active mind, that's okay too. It really is. That's a, that's a beautiful thing about being a human being. You know, we have these phenomenal minds that do this incredible, you know, analysis and critical thinking and, you know, strategy and all these amazing capacities that we have. Um, uh, and in order to really fully engage that mind in a meaningful way, you know, this practice can make all the difference in the world because it, uh, it allows us to to develop kind of what I think of as a gentle mental discipline so that we're able to really focus and concentrate on the, that which we want to focus and concentrate on, which then allows us to experience each moment a little more fully, a little richer, right? With a, a little more depth and, and connection so that we're really we're really there for the happy times and the celebrations and we're really there for the sad times and the difficult things and 
you know, we allow ourselves to feel and think and experience what we need to do and what we need to experience in the richest way possible, you know, because life happens in the moment. It doesn't happen in the past. It doesn't happen in the future. It happens in the now. And if we're distracted by, you know, it's like my partner always says, like, she'll take a shower in the morning, but she's really at the office because her head's already at work. So stopping and dropping in and really connecting with what's happening in this moment becomes an incredible practice and really, you know, changes the way we experience things. Like, especially if you think about spending time with a loved one or somebody that you care deeply about, if your mind is constantly running away, then it, it, it reduces that interaction and it reduces that experience. And, and that's hard, you know? Um, it's one of the, my favorite examples is, and I noticed this years ago, is I, I had come upon this flower that was literally like growing between the iron bars of a fence. And it was this absolutely beautiful flower. And um, it just drew my attention, both with the sight of it, the smell of it, like just where it was and the whole, you know, experience of just noticing this amazing living being. And once I really started to look at it, I was just kind of caught up in how wondrous it was. And then my mind started to analyze, well, what kind of flower is it? Have I seen this flower before? I know I've seen this flower before. I know I saw this flower once like three years ago when I was doing, and I'd lost the moment, right? It was gone. And that's okay, right? That's, you know, it was what it was. But in that moment when I was really just experiencing the flower, there wasn't a lot of thought or maybe no thought at all. It was just this amazing visceral experience of being with this other living being in a really meaningful way. So if you think about how you can extrapolate that out into the different aspects of your life, it really brings life to this kind of beautiful vitality and allows for a deeper, richer experience. So in order to be mindful, of course, like anything, we have to practice. And the practice that we use is meditation. Um, the meditation that I tend to practice, uh, it derives from uh, Theravada Buddhism. It's called mindfulness practice uh, or Vipassana. Uh, but, you know, I, I've extrapolated the kind of the, the stronger religious overtones. And we just really look at what the practice is, right? The, the fo focusing of the attention, the, the focus on the breath. Um, <laughs> you can see my kitty. Um, the focusing uh, on the breath, because the breath is an anchor to this moment. Again, the breath, you can't breathe in the past, you can't breathe in the future, you can only breathe in the moment. Um, it's also a very inexpensive uh, practice to have because, well, your breath goes everywhere with you all the time. It doesn't cost you anything extra, right? You don't need any special equipment. And you literally can practice it anywhere, anytime, because we're always breathing. And in the religious traditions, the breath is this kind of powerful thing because it's, it's something that we can control, but it's something that we don't have to control as well. And so there's this understanding that it is, it's, it's connected to the spirit, right? If that's meaningful to you, right? Or the energy of your body or however you want to understand that. The word inspiration and spirit come from the same root. And then to inspire, right, to, right, is respirate, right? It comes from the same root and the same foundation. So there's this really amazing and beautiful connection with the breath and the body. So, so in order to practice, you don't need anything special, just a place to sit. Um, very often we'll pick a place that is a little quieter because it allows us to kind of reduce the input that's the sensory input that's coming in. So we very often close our eyes, we'll reduce the sounds around us so that they are less of a distraction. Um, we sit in a comfortable position so the body isn't really bothering us. Um, and by the same token, we can, we can also um, really turn inward that way and really begin to notice what's happening inside. 
So see if you can get into a comfortable position um, and you can be sitting in a chair, you can stand, you can lay on the floor, you can lay on the couch, on the bed, whatever's most comfortable to you. But we wanna be physically comfortable and mentally alert. Those are the two things in combination that we're looking for. And, and tr very traditionally, we ring a bell to get started and I may play a little music as we go along in order to help us kind of relax and focus and fall in and kind of, you know, mask any sounds that might be coming in from the external that might prove to be distracting. So again, thank you all so much for being here and welcome, welcome to Midweek Mindfulness. Hmm. Go ahead and get settled in. I like to sit nice and tall so my spine is nice and tall and my head balances ever so precariously or ever so gently on top of my spine. And in balancing the spine and the neck and the head, it also allows us to really relax the shoulders and relax the arms. So that's all part of the process here. So as you get settled into your position, I'm gonna go ahead and invite the bell to let us begin. Now, all I want you to do, if you're comfortable with this and you would like to join us on this journey, please just, just take notice of the fact that you're breathing. Not controlling your breath in any way, just noticing how your body is breathing and that your body is breathing. And if raising your awareness to this and really having you focus on the breath causes you to control your breathing, that's okay. Just notice that too. See if you can notice where in your body you notice the breath the most easily. Might be the coolness of the in-breath at the tip of the nostril. Might be the movement against the back of the throat. Or maybe it's the expansion of the rib cage as the diaphragm pushes down the nose creating that openness in the chest cavity for the lungs to expand. Maybe it's that gentle out breath or whatever your body feels is necessary for you in this moment. You know, breathing has millions of years of evolution behind it. So we can trust our body to to provide what it needs. Now maybe try extending your exhale just a little longer, which might mean increasing your inhale just a little deeper. As you do this, just really begin to notice the effect that it has on your body.
which of course means expanding your awareness from your breath into your body as well. What do you notice? Is there a relaxing? Is there a tenting? Is there no change at all? Whatever happens to be there, that's okay. That's what's there in this moment. And you just gently let that be without any judgment. There's no right way or wrong way to breathe or be in the moment. We just are. You play with the, the depth of the breathing, allowing it to go deep. And then maybe a little more shallow. Notice how it affects your body. And each time the mind begins to chatter, to question, to challenge, recognize that that's perfectly normal. That's the job of the mind. It's to take notice of what's happening around you, it's to balance that with what it knows from the past. And then to form judgments in order to keep you safe. There's a lot more to us than that. So take note of what the mind thinks. And then for right now, just in this moment, just let that go, if you can, if you're willing. And just bring your awareness back to your breath, back to the breathing back to the sensation of the breathing. Now we're just going to gently scan down through the body, noticing any place we happen to be holding tension. And on the next out breath, just letting that tension release from the body and flow down into the chair, or the couch, or the floor. Just letting it drain right out of you, down, down, down. Down into the sofa, the pillow, or the chair, or the cushion, down into the earth. So bring your awareness to the top of your head, just noticing it. Is it warm? Is it cool? 
said itch. Does it itch now that I said it might? Just noticing what's happening there. On your next out breath, just letting it go and bringing your awareness down to your eyes. A little space around your eyes and your temples, the back of your head, the whole center of the head. Feel the muscles in your cheeks around your nose, the cheeks themselves, maybe your mouth. And on the next out breath, releasing this part of the body, moving our awareness down to the jaw and the neck. And to focus your awareness, we just notice what's happening in this part of our body. Is there tension in the jaw, stress? Is it relaxed? If you close your teeth, does it create a little bit of tension? If you relax that just a little bit, letting your mouth just barely hang open, does it relax your jaw? What is the position of your head? Does that affect your jaw or the feeling of your neck? And on the next out breath, releasing the jaw and the neck and moving down into the upper part of the body, the shoulders, the delts, the upper back, your chest, your sternum, upper part of the arm, the shoulders, maybe the shoulder blades if your back is resting against something. Again, just notice it. Not flexing or moving or touching, just just notice what's happening in this part. And on your next out breath, releasing the upper body and the shoulders. And go ahead and drift down into your biceps, your triceps, your elbows. Notice your forearms. Are they resting against your lap? Arms of the chair, the couch, sofa. Your lap. Whatever they happen to be touching. Just noticing. Now releasing your arms completely. Just letting them become heavier and heavier in your lap. Scan down, do you notice any tension in your rib cage, in your tummy? Are you holding your tummy tight? In your waist or your hips, your thighs, your calves, your feet, your toes? 
there's any other place you're holding tension, just bring your awareness to that place and then breathe. And now just settling back into your breath. And letting your body get heavier and heavier with each out breath. Again, if your mind wanders, no judgment there. Just notice that your mind wanders. And if you've been judging yourself because of that, that's okay. Just notice that you've been judging yourself. And just gently come back to your breath, back to your body. Letting it get heavier and heavier. Dropping down deeper and deeper inside. And now slowly beginning to deepen your breathing. Long exhale. Start to bring your awareness back to your body. Maybe flexing your fingers or wiggling your toes. As we ever so gently come back to the space, back to the room. I'll invite the bell to bring us to an end. And for those of you who come every week, beautiful to see you as always. Thank you so much. <clears throat> and for the new folks, welcome, welcome. So great to have you here. And please always feel comfortable to come to Midweek Mindfulness on Wednesdays. A beautiful joy. So have a wonderful day <laughs> and have a wonderful week and really enjoy your celebration. <laughs> Take care, everyone. Be well.